Ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready, sit back, relax, because it's about time for chatting with George Noonan. Oh, yeah. Tom Grady stopped by the garage this morning. We talked about a plethora of subjects. We, I think we may have finished one or two of our topics. We seem to get sidetracked every time we talk, and it's always a fun conversation, lots of laughs. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you enjoy beer. Tom likes beer. We talk about beer a little bit. I'm going to say beer one more time just for effect. Okay, we talked about beer. Uh, we talked about the 4th of July a little bit, the golf, all kinds of different stuff. There's a little something for everybody, so sit back and enjoy, because Tom Grady still looks marvelous. Hey everybody, welcome back to Chatting with George Noonan. I'm sitting here in the old garage with my longtime friend Tom Grady, and much to his character, he was very early today. Yes, good morning, George. How are you? Yes. Good morning um, is right. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You were sleeping when I pulled up, I <laughs> well, believe. Well, it right? happens, it happens. Yeah, so I, I wasn't aware of the, the traffic, first of all. Or so, lack thereof. Or lack thereof. <laughs> I figured that since it was a holiday week or weekend or whatever the heck it was, because I think we did just have a holiday. We did. We might have. We might have. Some big holiday. Christmas in July, I think it's called. Are we allowed to celebrate this holiday anymore? Uh, well, they're illegal, but we do, so. Yeah, I actually... Was talking with some people this weekend because I went up to uh, Tilton, New Hampshire. Oh, nice. Uh, spent some time on uh, Lake Winnesquam. That sounds about right. Very, very famous lake. Yes. Very famous lake. Um, Squam. Remember yeah. Two and, and a half men. <laughs> Squam. Sorry. No, too, too early for the Squam. All right. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I was told that there were certain people that were up there that were not going to celebrate the holiday. Uh, is there a name for these people? What do they have against freedom? Lunatics. Yeah, I, I don't know. And, and that was my that was my question to them. I said, this is all about us celebrating our independence from... Sorry about that. Don't worry about that. Should I, should I should turn that off. No, no, no. Okay. How popular you are. Celebrating our independence from a country that was not treating us right, right? Fair enough. So how is that a bad thing? Because it scares dogs. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think that... <laughs> The fireworks aspect, I think, uh, was something that people didn't enjoy too much either. But, uh, you know, they're, they're legal here, but in New Hampshire, it's, right, it's live free pretty much die. anything goes. You don't even have to wear a <laughs> helmet when you're on a motorcycle. I mean, how crazy is that? That's living free. It seriously is. And <laughs> or dying. Di and dying, yeah. So, <laughs> But I was just shocked that people were actually upset that we were celebrating our national holiday. Well, you said, like, how did you, how do they know that these people say, hey, everybody, we're going to be upset when we're up here and deal with it? It was more of a, it was more of a conversation, you know, we were having. Uh, oh, so, okay, okay. So what happens is, is you go out on these boats, and there's a sandbar in the middle of this Lake Winnesquam. Well, you get your Russian beers. W yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I actually got the Russian beers. Well, we'll talk about the yeah, beers later. The, yeah, <laughs> sorry, my bad. No, that's okay. So we get over to the sandbar, and there's it's just circles of boats, you know. And you're just talking with people all around, and the, the people were just upset that we were celebrating the holiday. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it, it shocked me. I, I, they couldn't give me a good reason why. Uh, then, you know, the term racist came up. Yeah. As it's wont to do. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was, I was just a little shocked. It was just, um, other than that, the weekend was fantastic. You know, 
sun, mos- mosquito bites. Uh, yeah, you look like a Braille book. I'm, I I'm, seriously I'm, do. My legs. Can you read my leg? Yeah, it says, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure does. <laughs> Siri's, wanted, Siri's jealous. Let's get Siri involved. Siri's getting turned off. Isn't it raining outside? <laughs> no. You remember that commercial I, I mentioned it before? Zoe Deschanel Siri looking out her window with her phone going, Siri, is it raining outside? Like, really? Can you say that? She's so pretty to be so dumb. Well, that's you, you, you usually don't get both. You usually yeah, get one uh, or the other. Yeah, yeah. She's, she was on, what, what show was she on? Uh, New Girl. New Girl. Is that still on or is that? I don't think so. No. That's yeah. one where they did the, the popular thing of replacing a character mid season and then bringing him back like in another season. Like it was Damon Wayans Jr. was in the cast and then he wasn't in the cast. He got someone to replace him. It's like the whole G. Uh, was it Bewitched or G? It was Bewitched. It was Bewitched. Darren. The Darren. The two yeah. Darrens. And Roseanne did it too with um, Sarah Chalk and Lisey Gorenson, I think is her name. I, you know, I didn't watch Roseanne. Um, I just never liked her. Fair enough. I don't uh, like her either. Yeah, yeah. Oh, domestic God. And, yeah, oh, I hated that. And then, and then when she, you know, did that whole grabbing her crotch when she did the national anthem or whatever. Well, I mean, yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, she, you know, she can do whatever she wants. I don't want to sound like a prude, you know, but I just, I just wasn't a fan of the show. But um, I really did enjoy that new girl for a little while. Yeah, she's married to wait, Mr. Mr. Deschanel. <laughs> no, I thought she was married to Ben Gibbard from no Death Cab for Cutie. Death. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Or oh. they were. Or oh, they were going out or something before. I don't know. You can I'm ask not Siri a, if you want. She's, she's willing to talk to you. I turned Siri off. Oh, Hopefully <laughs> Siri won't bother us again. My apologies. No, don't worry about it. This is my first time on a podcast. It, it, yeah, and in my garage too. I know. It, and what a lovely garage it is. You know, you're, you're looking like, I gotta, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to say three words to you. And you're gonna tell, you'll know exactly what you look like to me. You look marvelous. Darling. Does yeah. You, I, I, that, that, I probably look exactly you like do. how I was you holding really the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Uncomfortable. No. Yeah. No, well, the yeah, chairs no. aren't the best. No. Chairs, no. I'm teasing. It's okay. It's okay. It's good. But um, what um, no, what? Why did I say that to you? For the people who don't know. Oh um, that was the only other time I held the mic in my life, <laughs> other than bad karaoke that we did one night when we did Love, Love Shack. Shack yep. Yes. Um, with the Carnival Ball. Carnival Ball. Was that was that eighty eight or eighty nine? Well, we was I, it? I th- oh, see. I don't remember. That's the funny thing. It's I, I don't. Well, I mean, I'm clearly not that old, but. No, clearly you're not. Yeah. You graduated two years ago, so I don't yeah. know why you were there in 88 or 89, but you were nonetheless. And I, I honestly forget, because I, I I think it was 88, because I emceed at 89, and I only did a couple things, uh, Hans and Franz I did. Oh, and, right. And I yep. killed some time with Lisa Gebhardt so they could get stuff done. I was back. But I don't I don't think I was in the class. <laughs> what, 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 what? Did I say so? Oh. No. Is there a better way to say that? No, no, with Lisa Lee no, 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 no. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll continue. Yeah, yeah we'll continue. continue. Please, Tom's, can, Tom's please continue. censoring himself right I now. I did. Tom I'll, censored himself. I'll get this after the show. Yeah. So I think it was 88 because we did the Cheers. I think it was a dating game, but how did that work? We wouldn't cast the Cheers. How? I don't remember. The only thing I remember doing was that. And you were Fernando. Yeah. The, the, yeah. And Frank, Frank Agliardi was Mr. Rogers, wasn't he? I think so. And Eric Antunes was Rocky. Yeah. So, okay. So am I thinking of two different years? Because that's no, clearly no, that, not the that, cast of Cheers. That that is the same. So we wanted to date those guys. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I'm so trying to figure that we, out. Earlier. We were very progressive. That's right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we were way ahead of our time. Before it was cool, we were trying. To, that's right. We were trying to date other men on right. on the dating game. Yes. But I remember you were you. I'm trying to think of the cast. I forget the Cheers. I know Joe Marangi was Norm. Mm-hmm. Um, I was I was Cliffy. I don't think I was in that. See, so maybe. You might be thinking of two different years. I, I have which to be. Oh, our, which that's at right. our advanced age, I understand. I was hosting the dating game. Was I not? Because I, I was in the. Or was I not? Am I lying about that? I, I don't think you're lying. You, I, I call <laughs> not, it not mi- misremembering. But that's right because you, yes, there was. That's right. It was you, Frank, and Eric who were on the. You were the the guys. Yeah, and who was the? I don't remember. Julia was it Julia Child? Julia Child was there. Yes. She was, Right, and who did Julia Child? Julia Child. <laughs> we didn't graduate with Julia Child. No, no, no. no. Do we go to school with a girl named Julia Child? The French chef. Julia. So I think. Oh, oh, you, you I mean, think I thought you meant I, literally was Julia no, Child. No, 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 no. Is that right? No, there was no. I think it was. I think someone was playing Julia. Break out the yearbook. Was it Julie Abbott playing Julia Child? If that's the case, then I need some ginkgo biloba or something. Because <laughs> I, need an, I need a definition. That's what I. Need. My memory is going nuts. You remember that word though? That's a that's a crazy. I've never heard that word before. Ginkgo biloba. 
Yeah. Gang of Galoga. It was in that uh, Tom Cruise movie. Oh, the one where he runs down the street? Yeah. And he <laughs> sings about the Florida Keys and then Ginga Biloba. Oh, Ginga Biloba. Yeah. Okay. I think, no, actually, I think that's a supplement or something that's supposed to help your memory. It's working. <laughs> it, it is clearly not working. <laughs> <laughs> but that was funny. You, I don't think you wanted to even do that, did you? I, I didn't. You and, didn't. Um, you got talked into it. You were good, though. I, I, well, as good as I could be for being 17 or whatever it for was. doing Billy Crystal, doing Fernando. Exactly. And, and I remember... Um, Carino, sure, sure. Uh, he, he calls it Carino, but yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Mr. Car- <laughs> that was his, that was the nickname. Yeah. I, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he see, was, he was see? a he was a big man. See, there I go again. Um, that should be a song. That would, no. it, I think it is. It'll never work. Never no. Work. <laughs> so, There's no way of finding out if it is. <clears throat> he said, "I need you to wear a suit." That's right. And I, I said, "Yeah." I said, well, "I only wear a suit for a funeral." I said, "You know, I'm I'm not wearing a suit because you put the fun in funeral." I sure do. So I showed up, and he said, all right, well, you'll wear one of my suit jackets. So he put one of his suit jackets on me, and I just remember the thing was huge on me. And my hair at the t- you know, back when I had some. Actually, I still have a yeah, lot yeah, of my you, hair. You, you, you got nothing I just got the little skin yarmulke going on back here, you know, which gets burnt to a crisp every right. time I go out and play golf. Right. Um, and I remember they took a bunch of flour. Is that what that was? Yeah, it was like flour, and they put it all in my hair, and it got in my eyes and got in my mouth, and I was so sour about it. So I was sitting there, and then when it came to me, I just did the darling. Yeah, right. You were marvelous. <laughs> it's still good, it, by it, the way. It's well, it, uh, did you practice on the way here? You, I you, did. I said, I hope George. I hope George brings this up. I hope George brings it up. <laughs> please, I was in please, traffic, please, and I just did my best Billy Crystal all the way down, which is still not good. I think it's great. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. You and one other person. Well, we're right. I think Larry Russo laughed. That Larry was Larry Russo, huh? Yeah, okay. I, I looked out at the crowd. He was the only one laughing, so it was it was it was real inspiring. Yeah, oh, that was a lot of fun. Well, we got sidetracked there for a second, but you were talking yeah. about your, your weekend. What were we talking you, about? We, I don't know. Oh, the weekend. Ra- racist stuff yeah, in New uh, Hampshire. I don't yeah. know. Well, I think a lot of young kids now who are at the age of, you know, 18, 19, going into college or whatever now, um, they're all for tearing down the statues and, and, you know, all this other stuff. And again... Do I think we need a statue of General Lee or, you know, any of those people? No, but it's there. It's our history. What is it going to hurt to keep it there? That was my opinion. And for that, I was called racist. Um, I didn't see it as being racist. And maybe some people listening to this might think that. Um, but I, I I was just appalled that committing... A, got to be a felony i'd imagine i would think so tearing down a statue how is that any better than you know what's what, destruction what, of property right yeah destruction of property all that stuff i i there's ways to go about it you were looking at it historically to historically. be to be clear you to were be, looking at it yes from, yeah a historian would look at it and say this is right r- not, i mean not racist right they want to tear down <clears throat> even though it was interpreted as racist right they want to tear down statues of lincoln now and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, you're not. But I think he did a lot of great things to to help end. Yes, he did. What they're talking about, but they want to tear a statue of him down now because there was a uh, in the statue there was an African American who was like looking up to him and and praising him. Yeah, I I, I just don't get it. Yeah, no, it's, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a touchy subject. It definitely is, but it is. And um, I hadn't been called racist in quite some time. Since the last time I called you racist. Yeah. So actually, I just <laughs> I just lied. It was last week when we were on the phone. <laughs> That's right. But um, it's, just, I don't know. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I'm, I, I don't. Are you allowed to have a thought on that? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, as can, a, can you voice your. Uh, you oh, know, on this? As, on this? On Yeah. As a, I, as a host. I can. I don't. I, I know what you're saying. I don't want to offend anybody. Well, right. Right. But, yeah. But um, I. I, I just try to stay neutral because I don't understand where it's coming from. So right. I don't want to say anything. I, there was an issue last night. I, I won't name names. Um, but you're going to. I can't I'll, wait for I'll, this. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll use a different name. Okay. Her name was Cheryl. <laughs> and uh, that's the name to protect the innocent. And, and she was thinking that she had rights because she has biracial children. Ah. 
and the African American people that were there weren't having it. I see. And she refused to see it their way. It's kind of like I, I equate it with, and I don't know if this is even a good analogy or not. I've never been raped. So, Come on. So if, no, no, no. It's always consensual. Okay. Um, I've never been raped, so I don't know what it's like to be a rape victim. So I don't can't tell somebody, oh, you shouldn't feel that way, or oh, hey, this is it. I, I that's how I look at it. I don't say anything about it, really. I really don't, because I don't, I don't know. Right, right. And I think that's the point. I think they just wanted her to shut up. Don't talk about. It. You don't know anything about this. Mm. You know, you you, you you don't know what it's like. Just because you have biracial children, you're still white. That should be a song, too, by the way. It is, I think. It's the uh, Death Cab for Cuties, isn't it? No, no, it's not the Death Cab for Cuties. <laughs> no, I, I understand what you're saying. It's just, it, it was just one of the things from this weekend that it just, it, it took me back a little bit. Sure, and, sure. and, and, you know. Because your intentions weren't bad. No. And the people, you know, the the people that said it to me, I, I love them. Yeah. You know, they're good friends of mine, sure. you know, but it's just, eh, it's, I, I'm, I'm trying to see where they're coming from. Yeah. And I'm just having a hard time. That's all. But if you don't, and here's the thing that that bothers me: it's like if you if you are trying to fight, figure out where they're coming from, and you don't talk about it, but if you do talk about it, then you get kind of scolded, and you don't want to talk about it. You, you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah. No I one mean, sits there and says, "Let's have a dialogue where <clears throat> you can tell me your white views, and I'll tell you my black views." It doesn't. It doesn't happen. No. You, as soon as you no. say something, it's 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 all right. Now we're ripping down Dunkin' Donuts. Let's go. Yeah, well, I don't like dunks. <laughs> so you'd be you'd, you'd be like, now we can bond. Yes, yeah. Bond. I think I think we mentioned that that uh, Dunkin' Donuts is not what it used to be. No, it's coffee now, basically. It's basically just coffee. Yeah. I mean, you can you know I, their coffee may be good. I don't know. I don't. I drink black coffee and See? I ma and I make it progress. at home. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I didn't. No know that. cream, please. I didn't know that was coming. No, <laughs> uh, and I just and I make it at home. Yeah. You know, that's the only time I ever have coffee. What I used to like was when, you know, Dunkin' Donuts made their own donuts. They were good donuts. Yes. They were now quality. they get them, you know, Yay. trucked in from Anchorage, <laughs> you know, on these freezer tugboats or whatever. And then they get put in this other refrigerated thing. They thaw them out, throw them on the shelf, and they'll sell them to you a couple of days later, I guess. I don't know. Whatever the deal is. Just don't like them. What's your donut Shop of choice. Like you went to a donut shop today, you said. Do you, well, do you I, remember I, it or you just I Google got, don donut shop? No, I just, that's, that's what I did. And as a matter of fact, usually whenever I go to a town that I've never been in, if it's around this time, early in the morning, I try to find like a mom and pop donut shop and I go grab a donut. There's some good ones. Do you remember the name by any chance? This one it's was okay Su Su Supreme or maybe or something. It was, it was in Brockton. Um, I, can't, I can't remember. City of Champs. I guess that's where I referenced. They ripped down. They would tore down. A, they burnt down a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, did they really? Rioting, yeah. No, I shouldn't say rioting. I should say protesting. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. See, so I work right in downtown Crossing in Boston, mm -hmm. and after the protests, the peaceful protests, um, I was coming in. I get into work at about five in the morning. <clears throat> Time to make the donuts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to all the shops, making sure their donuts are fresh. <laughs> um, no, I, I got in town, and I got to see firsthand the National Guard was still there. Really? Yeah. Um, I got to see all of the the destruction that these people, ju they just destroyed everything. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you familiar with Downtown Crossing? Like where... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't, know what the, I don't know what that is. Like um, where Jordan Marsh was. It's off the Orange Line, right? Yeah, you can get there right off the Orange Line. Um, but, you yeah, know, Jordan, yeah, Jordan Marsh. There's that Army-Navy store that's there. They always got that... Uh, fireproof suit out front the silver one uh, you know just i don't know why they have it out there but who i don't no one's bought it in 30 years <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why they keep it hanging out there but just everything all the way down to where like the corner mall used to be you know that had all the food shops in yeah, it yeah, yeah. just all the windows blown out and from in my building i could look up to uh boston common all the shops leading all the way up to boston common all the windows blown out. What did that do? Not, nothing. Just right. made people's lives miserable. Right. It's, yeah, exactly. Cost people poor, a lot of money. Yeah. And, you know, the National Guard was still there. There were bullet holes in the bottom of, you know, our building and stuff like that. So, it's, it, you know, I don't know. You get there at five. So, you, you, you want to pack. You take the train and you drive in. Well, since the COVID-19, oh, um, I was deemed essential. So, I had to 
which I've never been essential. Who'd have thought? Yeah, exactly. Right. The one time you don't want to be essential. <laughs> the one time I wanted to fly <laughs> under the radar and work from home, right? Yeah, right. Uh, no, but so I was driving in every day. But oh, normally, it must have been the best, though. Oh, it was the first couple of months. I mean, nobody on the road. But now the traffic's back up to, you know, garbage level. Yeah. It's it's terrible. Coming in in the morning and... I saw your car earlier. Like, how long have you had... I, that's the first time I've seen your car. Oh, that's the first time I've had that one since 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah. It's a dog. What is, I'm not a car guy. Uh, it's a Charger. It's a Charger. It's a Charger. <laughs> And it's orange. It, it it works though. I like it. If you told you me know? you had an orange charger, I'd be like, okay, but no, yeah. but 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 it works. Well, you remember um, the Dukes of Hazard. Well, are we getting into the Confederate flag now? <laughs> Was that oh, what we're doing? No, no, no. That's the only thing I'm missing course, on it. Is what course. I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it's, I asked it's, for that option, and they told me no. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that here. Sir. Yeah, no. We you have, you have to live in Alabama. So to the get doors that. open, or you have to climb out? <laughs> no, didn't you see? I came out the window. That's right. The, the, I slid over the hood when I was parking the charger window. No. Yeah. It, it, I don't mind driving in, but um, I wouldn't want to do it all the time. Yeah. While this is going on and while the office is still closed, they have me driving in. So it's kind of a, it's kind of nice. I didn't have to get on any public transportation because what I usually do is I take a bus. Because so I live out in the sticks now. I live up in uh, Tingsboro. Tingsboro. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right under Nashua. Wow. Culinary wasteland of America, what basically. Is what does that mean? Just there is just no good food up there. Oh, really? I, yeah. I mean, seriously, it's all like chain uh, stuff. You you got to try real hard to find a good pizza up there. Pizza? We're going to have to take a pizza. If you, we're going to talk about this. South Shore has bar pizza. Have you ever had one? I have had bar pizza. You have? Okay. As a matter of fact, I really like uh, Emma's. Ron Emma. That guy's a nut job. He's a nut job. He is. But he's, he's, he's running waffles now too. I don't know. He's got a. He's got a. Waffle. He's got a waffle chicken he's, and waffles. I bet. Uh, is it? I think maybe I don't know, but it's, it's right. He's got these commercials. Um, when the Phantom Gourmet was on, <laughs> let's just get into this whole. I, All right. Okay. This, this is not well, the conversation I, I envisioned. By no, the way, I, just, I, I, I can just, see where this is I headed just had today. The yeah. So plenty and, and it could be my fault. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but but he he has a commercial and he's you know he's a whack job. He is. I don't know the man. He might not be. Maybe he's, he's a genius. I don't know. He's but. flying around in a tutu with <laughs> wings and stuff talking about pizza. I don't know how that sells pizza, but I like it. I, it worked? Well, they, se- they sell it frozen in the market basket yeah. up in Nashua. So that's, I mean. Was I, that where you had it from? You didn't actually have it there? Oh, I, so Billy, yeah. my brother, who everyone confuses me with after they haven't seen us both in 30 <laughs> years. Right. I've never seen you together at the same place. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah, so it's like Clark Kent and Superman, <laughs> right? Um Clearly, he's Superman, and I'm I'm actually like Dump Kent or something. <laughs> yeah, Kent, yeah, nice. yeah, you know. Um, but uh, everyone goes, "Oh, hey, what's up, Billy?" And I said, "No, it's Tom." But nice talking to you. Yeah, you know, good to see you again too, um, sir. Sir. So my brother lives down in. Um, he lives near the town spa. He does. What town is that? I, why do I always I always blank? Well, I don't know. I mean, I know. It's, um, I. Uh, See, I'm like, I, I don't, I lived down here for like five years, but I don't remember anything. Okay. So, you know, t- town spot. I know town spot. He, he, he lives he down by. He goes, hey, because I, I went there once. He's like, hey, I live around the corner. Yeah. Next hey, time you're there. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you're not keeping tabs I, on I, him? I should have been. I keep track of you and Pammy. I left yeah. Billy out. Of that's <laughs> right. You, yeah. Billy. See, at least Pam lives in Wilmington. You know, there's places, you know, you can, you can get some good food around there. Yeah. You got to travel a town or two. But it's, you can get it's not it. like where I am. But um, so I went down to his house one time. Uh, with the address I can't remember or the town I can't remember, but somehow I made it there. made it there. Um, I'm just getting old. Uh, and we went to one of the Emmas down there. I think, is is it one in Brockton? Uh, um, probably. Yeah. At one time, I think he had like three or four. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. They're, and, they're, and now he's only got a couple or something. I don't know right. if he had to. What are you, stuck in the guy? Yeah, you, you know. You live in Tingsboro. How I like, I like the pink tutu thing with the, with the, with the, with the wings. <laughs> right. Uh, it, no, so I went in there and I had the pizza actually at the bar and it was really, really good. Yeah. I don't like Cape Cod. I've been into Cape Cod pizza and I don't, I don't like theirs for whatever reason. I, I know it's essentially the same thing, but I just, I like them as better. I don't think it is essentially. That's the funny thing is because I had Cape Cod for the first, my first time when I lived in the, in the North Shore. That's where I was told to go Cape Cod. So I went uh-huh. to Cape Cod and Brockton. Yeah. And I didn't think it was great. And I chalked it up to maybe it's just because it is a different. It's just it's basically a small Greek pizza. Uh, that's what I was just going to say. See I, what it I, is. I mean, it's what it's a here? thinner. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Take Can you easy. make more noise with that van, please? <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> What's he doing? Yep. Being tracked? Yeah, what was that all about? <laughs> so. he, he slowed down to look inside. He was going to... No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> who knows? I'll close the door next time. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't, yeah, we'll be sweltering. <laughs> We'd be dying. <laughs> but, but Town Spy was very, it's very good. The Holy Trinity, from what I'm told, is Cape Cod, the Linwood, and the Town Spy. Okay. And I've been to the Town Spy, like I said. I, I, I put the outside because that was my finishing of the Holy Trinity. And, of course, then you get people... Well, what do you consider the Trinity? It's like, okay, obviously can't, you're going to fight you do me that with this. anything. You, you can, of you course. Know. It's just that's what I was told was the All big it, three. Yeah. Yes, the re- comparable ones. Well, the reason I never went to Town Spa is because there's a line all the way to Tewksbury. Shows you how good it is. I, it, yeah, I mean, you gotta, how, long, <laughs> how long are you going to sit in line and wait to get into a place to have a pizza for? Not when there's. 30 other places to go. Right, exactly. It's not like it used to be. Like, remember when Francine's was the only game Francine's, in town? Francine's, yes. Had, you know, yeah. that was some good stuff. That was good stuff. And then they were gone, and then, you know, Brother's Place came in. You know, I worked there for I was going to say, a little, little plug for Brother's Place. Don't. Yes, please go to Brother's Place. They've been closed <laughs> since 84. But Is, that no, Is that true? No, they had, oh. no I think um, mid-90s, I think they sold. But, Just, uh, did, were they, did they have a couple? They had seven at so, one point. More than a couple. Are they, yeah. Are they all gone or? Well, I think the one in Wakefield is still there and the one in Arlington is still, but it's not the same owners. You yeah. Know? Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, you know, they got out of it. Uh, I think Emmett, who was by far my favorite person in that organization, is a school teacher and uh, I think Bill Ricca, track coach or something like that. Wow. Yeah, he does something. Anyway, does a good job with them anyway. They win a lot of. You think, of, you think Brockton's home of the... I do. Yeah, I don't know. Bill Ricca seems to be home of something. <laughs> but uh, Some would argue different things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I, I've, I've tried it down here. And again, I wasn't like super impressed. I wouldn't drive, especially from where I live now. Yeah. I wouldn't drive down here just for a pizza. No, I, mean, I would I th- hope not. I think even if I lived in... Stoneham, I would. Oh, well, oh, sorry. Oh, I don't know where you're talking about. Yeah, Stoneham. <laughs> do you say Stoneham? Or did that I, just come I, out? I, no, I always say Stoneham. I thought. Oh, you do. Okay. I, I do. I always do when people give me the garbage about that. So <laughs> I think it's, you know, it's all I good. Think it's the funniest thing. I don't even like driving through Stone. I don't even. You don't like, know what to say. I, yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't even like driving through there anymore. Do what the kids do. Call it the ham. I will never <laughs> call it the ham. <laughs> That will never cross what, my framing? lips. framing? What are we talking about? Right, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, it's just, it's a different, it's a totally different place now. I mean, have you driven through it all? Um, within the last year I have, yeah. Remember when you used to be able to Fergusize up and down Main Street? You Do know, I? How yeah, great was that? Right? Lean huh? to the side so you don't speed through? Lean to the side in your blue Corvette, <laughs> you know, that you have no business having, <laughs> you know. Drive up and down Main Street, Absolutely. make your laps and stuff like that. Four miles an hour. You can't, yeah. You can't even get up Main Street in ten minutes now. It's insane. Well, yeah, because of both highways, right? That's all. Well, it's, it's, it's just, just the best thing about it and the worst thing about it. Yeah, it's just the traffic is crazy, you know. But I still, I still go to China Moon. Do you really? I do. They even remodeled. <laughs> Why? They they've been the same since 1932, haven't they? They've yeah, changed pretty, the pretty much, yeah. But they remodeled. It's not. I like the food's always been really consistent there. And, and I guess it's one of those things, it's like, you know, what I grew up on. Yeah. So I, it's a sort of a comfort kind of thing. Like when you want, you want Chinese food, you, you know, you want a good scorpion bowl that's going to knock you on your ass <laughs> or maybe two of them. Maybe sometimes it takes two. What are you going to do? Uh, usually takes three. Three. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, I don't like to talk too much about that. How you doing? Yeah. And the same people still own it, you know, same family. So, you know, it's. The moons. <laughs> I don't think that's Barry's last name. Barry Moon? Huh? No, it's not sounds, Barry Moon. Sounds great. Barry Moon, hello? Mo- <laughs> <laughs> that's the moon. <laughs> my, see, my, you, you talk about that. That's funny because Andrea's pizza is my, my go-to, for, my comfort, because I lived around the corner, obviously. And right, yep. Mm-hmm. Run to Andrea's. And, mm-hmm. and, or we'd walk. We'd skip. We'd, we'd do whatever we had to do. Didn't One you, time we got. Didn't you double dutch we, over there? Sometimes well, I, I had to learn how first, but yeah. yeah that, thank, that, thank you for teaching me the double dutch. By the yeah, way, yeah, no problem. That was that was my one claim to fame. <laughs> I taught George Noonan the double that's dutch. That's right. That's right. Not only the double dutch, but how to run to Andrea's in double dutch at the same time. <laughs> Skill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Num- could have been an Olympic event. I got looks. I got looks. <laughs> yes, you did. That's why your calves are like that. Yeah, right, right. Well, yours are just as big now due to the... uh, Mosquito bites, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Mine are artificial. (laughs) That crap, that's... uh, Seriously, are you in pain right now? Yeah, they hurt. Yeah. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of gross. And I think I was telling you, I have to play golf with some people that I really... 
I know them, but I don't really hang out with them. And I'm like thinking, you be his partner. No, you be his yeah, partner. Yeah. You can't ride in my cart <laughs> with that on your leg. You can push. <laughs> So who knows what's going to happen, but it uh, should be fun this week. No, you just I, found out you were allergic to these. I did. I just found out I'm actually allergic to mosquitoes. Uh, yeah. Allergic. Can you believe that? You were never allergic before. Isn't that crazy? Never. Well, I guess things like that change, right? Like you can yeah, not be ever, ever. I don't know. It's really not too scientific, but I guess like every certain amount of years, you can develop al- allergies to stuff that you'd never had before. 45. Every 45 yes, years? Yes. That's why you were good. <laughs> you can't tell me to get a mosquito bite last year. You Why had to have gotten a mosquito bite. Well, because what I'm saying is that you, you went... Well, I'm I usually... assuming you're in the 48, 49 area. Yeah. Um, I, and did you get a mosquito bite last year? I, I refuse to tell you my That's age. That's fair. Yeah. That's no, fair. No. That's fair. But but you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Because you you finding out now that you're right. allergic... But I've never gotten this many. Oh, okay. So you, know? oh, so you can handle so a couple. One or two, I guess I'm going to be fine. But when I get 20 of them... You need to sign. Maximum, maximum occupancy, 18. Y- exactly. Written in little mosquito language, whatever it is. But um, yeah, they hurt like hell, believe it or not. I believe And I've been taking some Benadryl and stuff like that. And it helps, the, with, helps with the itching, but it doesn't... What were you going to say? Remember the what calamine lotion? Was that, that the pink, pink stuff? stuff? Yeah. And it would crust up like you had a mud mask put on. Oh, put that was, everywhere. Stuff was One gross. bite bite, cover the whole leg, please. Yeah, that was yeah, that, that shit was gross. I love that stuff. Mm, yeah, that was terrible. I think them and Pepto-Bismol are... are in, I think they might be the same thing, actually. Yeah, they might be. <laughs> yeah. Although they tell you not to eat the calamine lotion. Well, doesn't stop me. No. <laughs> they can tell me all they want. No, now now I see. Me. Now I, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of golf, though, you are, you were, or maybe you still are, what? what I was you, an assistant professional for years. Assistant professional. Yeah, which doesn't mean anything except that I uh, worked at a golf course. I had a low enough handicap to give golf lessons and stuff like that. And and is it true that you, you were... You were at Hago Harrington's doing that? I did, yes. Uh, what I did is I taught people the exact time to hit it <laughs> the windmill. when the windmill was coming down. Yeah. So got a lot of money for that. That was that was great. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the little kids didn't want to pay. Oh, I gotta, shook them down for it. I, I took candy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I wasn't proud. My, my, yeah. Anything's monetary. No. Yeah, I used to work at a club called Beverly Golf and Tennis. And um, it was fun. Where was it? <laughs> pretty close to Beverly. Pretty close. Yeah, it was. It was Woo, thank yeah, God. yeah, it was pretty close to Beverly. Was Maryland. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, Massachusetts, and uh, it was a fun way to spend a bunch of summers. I bet, right? And you got paid to play golf. You I mean, paid. it was. That, it was see, a lot that makes you a professional. Well, uh, yeah, by yeah, definition. By definition, yeah. But uh, <laughs> I never won any tournaments or anything. Don't so, have to. Yeah. If you're getting paid no, to play golf, to. you're a professional. Yeah. yeah. So it was fun. I had a good time, and. Uh, I still play now, but uh, I don't play near as well as I used to. G- golf is one of those things where you have to play all the time to maintain a certain level of play. Sure. I mean, I can still hit a golf ball out there a long way. I can still do everything pretty well, but uh, I'm not, not, just not scoring like I used to. And, and that's fine. I now... I, <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's in the air. It's, it's the COVID-19. Sorry. No, no jinx there. Hey, we didn't shake, did we? Uh, no, well, I shook in fear when I saw right, you, but that's yeah, about okay. it. Um, where was I? Where were you? You were you were in Maryland. No, no what was I? Teaching Beverly Golf. No, I was talking about playing golf. You're right? talking about how you 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 were not go- you're not golfing as frequently oh, as you used exactly to. Oh, that's exactly right. Yeah. So it's one of those. Now I got to take like, notes. Great. Yeah. Th- yeah. Please. <laughs> With that Who's the scribe. Ye <laughs> old scribe. Ye old scribe. Um, if if you don't do something, you know enough the it's 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 like muscle memory kind of thing. You, you lose it. You know. Sure. If you don't play basketball for ten years, you can get out there and you might still be able to dribble. And not just down your uh, chin. So yeah, good. You, knew, you didn't take it. I was going I, to. I so. knew. I saw good the look you. in your good eyes that you. I had to take that. Um, it's just like anything else. And now, I oh, where I was going is I used to get really angry. No. I know. Imagine, right? Me with a temper. <laughs> I used to get really angry when I didn't play well. But now I just go out there just for the sheer fun of it. And, you know, you're spending four hours with friends and you're out outdoors playing golf and, you know. One guy's, you know, got a cigar, you have a beer, whatever, and it's just it's a lot of fun. So you go to smoke and drink. Cool. P- pretty much. <laughs> Although I don't smoke. It's a gross habit. I was going to ask you, do you smoke cigars? I don't. Because some people, they won't smoke anything but cigars. Like, I, I don't... I, 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 I get it. I respect that. Do you yeah. Know, do you know that is? No. No. Rodney Dangerfield? No, it was what? Vanessa Hudgens. She put out a video about the COVID. 
who did Vanessa Hutchins. She's a she's an actress, and, and she was she was she was drunk, and she was. Was up. she in any of the Iron Man movies? Because well, that's well, about all I watched. You know what's funny is that what? she was in a, a sitcom. It was about superheroes uh, with Alan Ruddick. You know Ruddick, the guy, Alan, the blonde guy. He's in like everything. He's the Michael Caine of our generation. At any rate, I what? do real bad Michael Caine. Yeah, but I'm not well, going to do it. Yeah, do no, it. Do it. No, no I don't. I really uh, don't do a bad Michael. Caine. But it was it was a half hour. It was. It was I liked the show because it was about like fate, weird superheroes, uh-huh. and she was in it and she was good. But it did. It only lasted a season. I don't remember the name. That's how. That's how bad it was. A bad show, but I liked it. Was it on the CW by any chance? No, it was. Uh, you know what? I can't. I don't know because I don't. I think it was on one of the big three. Because that network sucks. CW. Yeah, all of their shows are just. They have the Arrowverse. Hot garbage. What, but they have Arrow and stuff. Well, they had Arrow. To go yeah, on. but then, yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway, she did this thing yeah. just to finish this up. She did yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. She was drunk and she went. She's like, she's talking about the, the, the people are gonna die. She's like, I get it, I respect it, but and then she just she had an apology a day later. She even sent the video. Oh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna send. So. Yeah, I used to be <clears throat> up a lot more in my pop culture. Yeah, no, you don't care. Yeah, no, it's not that I don't care. It's just it, uh, like I used to be able to make. Pop culture references. I think, I think I'm just an old curmudgeon now. Curmudgeon. Yeah. Do you need to look that up? No, that I've heard before. Misanthrope. It's usually after the name Tom Grady, though. Yeah, right. So exactly. Right. Right. In the. I just. I don't. I don't. I don't get what's going on now. You know. You, know, you don't get it. or You don't want to get it. Or both. It's probably a little bit of both. <laughs> you know. And and if I do bring up a pop culture reference, people look at me like I got yeah, two it, holes in my it's head. Morrissey, because, that's why. Well, well Morrissey, yeah, that's <laughs> right, yeah. Or as my friend Chris would say, my loser music. Loser music. That's nice. what that's what he used to call it. Loser music. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with Depeche Mode? De- to, Depeche Mode. REM. He hated REM. They're still current though. I think I think they are still doing stuff. Yeah. I, I, I I've actually switched gears, um, music wise. Uh, when I got Sirius XM, oh yeah, I used to only keep it on, you know, first wave, and that was all the stuff from like, you know, when we were younger, you know, the early '80s and stuff like that. So it was all your Cure, the Smiths, your Morrisseys, my your Morrissey, Depe- <laughs> your Morrisseys, not mine. <laughs> I gave up on him after he left me at like five concerts. Is this true? Oh, it's the truth. You, you're you're no longer a Morrissey fan. That's the one person I picked, and you, yeah, you're well, over. I still like his music, and I'll listen to it, but I'll never buy another ticket to go see the guy. What happened? Well, so it's like the same thing every show. So, oh, the, oh, he does the same show every time. <clears throat> it's not, no, no. What happens is, is so the first time I so quick music history with Tom Grady, <laughs> the Smiths broke up in '86. Morrissey was the lead singer of the Smiths. Right now, people are tuning out. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I can um, news for you. It was an hour ago they turned it off. Yeah, for, when you said Tom Grady, everyone turned <laughs> oh, it off. Click. Um, no, and so he went on, on his solo career, right? And he came out with an album called Viva Hate in like 1990. Viva Hate? Viva Hate. Live Hate? Is that what that is? Because Viva's Live, right? Yeah. Okay. That, that was the name of his album. Fair enough. Uh, so I got tickets to see him, and I think I was with Alicia Parisi, if I remember correctly. So the name dropping is just out of the window now. Can we scratch that? Uh, I was with someone Tom, I will not name. I'll, I'll edit it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> and it was at Brandeis. So gets out. He's on stage, and he starts uh, singing one of his songs, "Suede Head," which was his big, <laughs> big, big hit off his sure, first sure, album. I'm sure, I've heard it. And then all of a sudden, just all of these kids rush the stage. They're jumping on him, grabbing his junk. Whoa. Trying to throw him down. Well, you know. The old jump and, punch. And he, yeah, and he said, I'm out. So I heard 30 seconds of a song the first time I went to see him. And then he never came back out. So we all got we all got screwed. So I was like, oh, wow. Oh, man, that really stinks. A couple of years later, same thing. Buy some tickets. I don't think it was with the person that I shouldn't have mentioned or should I have mentioned or not. <laughs> um, I forget who it was. And, and then, like, it was a carbon copy of the... And then years later again, he's coming around again. He canceled all his shows because he had a throat something. So I've only seen him. I've I've bought tickets six times. I've seen him one, play one whole concert. That's an expensive. If you if you do the average, that's a pretty expensive concert. It, he he got his fair share from me. I would stop playing that song if every time I did it, someone grabbed my junk. Well, well, it depends on well, the audience. Depend, to you know, be depend, honest, right? Well, if maybe if you knew the person, you wouldn't mind. But a bunch <laughs> right. of strangers rushing the stage. I mean, you know, so. So that's the, I just don't, 
I won't spend the money to go see him anymore because you really don't get to see him because for some reason or another, the show gets canceled. You may or may not see him. What's the last concert you saw? Ooh, last concert I saw was Lady Tron. L- Lady Tron? Lady Tron. And I went with my friend Claire. No, I know Claire. We, you do know Claire. I know. Uh, yep. The girl from England. You've met Claire, yes. She's a uh, wanker. No, she is not. No, I only know that no, word. That's yeah, that, that's not a good. That's not a good word. For, yeah. um, <laughs> although the other, are you rattled? I still hang out with her, and we play golf. And I was, and I was playing golf with her the other day. I said, "Remember when you were a wee lad?" <laughs> I meant to say "wee lass," <laughs> and I just totally blew it. And she said, "Yeah, yeah, no, I was never a wee lad." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, I get it." And then later on, she said, "Remember when you were a wee lass?" See, that's, yeah, that's, she, she, she played that very well. She did. She she waited a couple of holes. It that's was the, it was fresh when yeah. she said it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you forgot about it. Yeah, I, I had forgotten about it because I was so pissed I didn't hit the ball well. No, <laughs> no, we actually we actually have a good time. Uh, and I, so yeah, I went to see Lady Tron with her. What is Lady Tron? I mean, uh, I'm assuming it's the opposite of the movie Tron. Extremely the female opposite. version of Tron. It's a it's a it's like an electronic music band. Really? Yeah. Is that what you're into now? Yeah, yeah, and that's was kind. Of, that's kind of like where I was, oh, where I was going to with with Sirius XM. I had kept. That, that was on. my fault. I, I I steered the ship on that one. Just you that sure was, did. That you, was me. That was me. You just put us up against the rocks. <laughs> right. No, um, we hit the sand dune. Mm. No, sitting sand. You're bar. used to that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no one's calling me any names though on this one. So, I started listening to this uh, channel called Chill, mm. and it's just. Kind of just electronic music. That's it. And sometimes they have words, sometimes they don't. But it's just, and it's, it's peaceful. You know, yeah. not that Lady Tron's peaceful because almost all of their stuff yeah. has. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Does that happen a lot? Oh yeah. Well, it happens. It depends. Like I'm shocked we haven't heard a train yet. The, the train is. What time's the train come by? The twelve o'clock train. I don't know. It, it's sometimes it's. Like well, it's thirty. We're, we're not near twelve, no. so yeah. We I, I, don't, I don't even know. I honestly don't know. I don't think I've ever. Started this early. I mean, not that there are trains, but usually there's one going by. Yeah, but I, I've, you know, run the gamut with music. And uh, when we were in, uh, when we were at the Ham High School. <laughs> Framing? Did, did I say that right? Did I, 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 did I so. do it like the kids do? HSH. So, HHS. Do you know who Peter Murphy is? Um, he's an Irish guy, isn't he? He's an Irish lad, is he not? <laughs> no, he's not a wee lass. <laughs> um, so, Peter Murphy is a singer. Peter Murphy. He used to be the lead singer of um, a band called Bauhaus. And then he went out on his own. I know. We we, we, we won't get in. Anyway. <laughs> Just the looks. I, mean, I wish. I need to you, video you wish there was a camera, right? Do, yeah. Right, yeah. Because... Um, so I remember he his first album was called Love Hysteria on his own. It came out like 86 or whatever. And I had the cassette. Nice. In my lo- Oh, yeah. The cassette. Do you folks remember cassettes? How about singles? What a waste of what a what a marketing tool, huh? I bought them. Yeah, you spend nine dollars for a cassette, but seven fifty for the single. Isn't that expensive? Well, whatever. I don't know. I mean, but yeah. you're right though. You're yeah, right. yeah, you you, yeah. You got you got screwed. Yeah, not um, a fun way either. Yeah, you don't want to fast forward to the next song just by the <laughs> single. Turn it over, and do it again. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. So on the cover, he kind of. You know that Madonna Vogue thing where she's got her hand under yeah, her chin yeah, and one yeah. like this way? Sure. Well, he kind of had that thing going on. Perpendicular for those right. at home. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. For the people that can't see me because there's no camera here. So I'm doing this. And it was sort of like a orange kind of pink. Like like your car. cover. No, no <laughs> pink, but yes. So I open up my locker and it falls out on the ground. And someone that I'm not going to name. Okay. Was it me? No, it wasn't. No, no, no. This time it was not you. Walked by, picked it up for me, but looked at it first and said, who's this fag? And handed it back to me. And I was like, great, here we go. You know? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So it was, I was always a little different with the music. I, you know, I enjoy different stuff. Yeah. But it, Sirius XM, I think, is the best thing ever. Absolutely. I really do. And then that Spotify. I love Spotify because when I was taking the train into work or even... Like, you know, I told you I live up on the culinary wasteland. So <laughs> culinary wasteland. That should be a song. It's on the B side of the of the single. Of the single. <laughs> That's Peter Murphy's next song. Can't wait <laughs> right. till he comes out with that. But I take the bus from Tingsboro down to South Station, and then I just walk up to so I got my eye thingy here, the phone, uh <laughs> iPhone twenty two. The old eye thingy. The old eye thingy. Patch. And the, <laughs> 
I have my Sony Walkman. <laughs> remember the Discman? That was great. I remember the Discman. Who bought that? You can't that run. Thing, it skips. <laughs> exactly. Things skip like crazy. Um, but I can download these with, um, what's it called? The Spotify. You can download playlists and listen to music and not hear anything. She might come back, by the way, because she she's curious about this. It, is she really? Yeah, yeah. Let's invite her in. If she comes back, I will. Yeah, if she comes in. I forget her name, though. You're gonna, no You're going to have to say, hey, I'm Tom. Who are you? Oh, I, yeah. I, can't, that's, I, can't I always do that. I can't help you there. I forget names, and I always say, uh, so this is Tanya. <laughs> and oh, they're like, hi, I'm Bill. Oh, yeah, that's Bill. Bill, what's going on? Yeah. But uh, so I get to download these, you know, and podcasts, too, which is... Uh, this one's available on the po- on the Spotify. I know. And by the way, congratulations on being a professional <laughs> podcaster now. I saw that you got your first advertisement. Advertisement. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. That makes so me hope- a professional. That's why I was trying to say to you about the golf. If you're getting paid right. to I, I, I joke about being a professional podcaster. So. Right. Right. Well, I think it's fantastic. This is such a such a great medium to just it's great. Just yeah. Say you say whatever you want to say. You talk to people and and people listen to it. Well, well, not God, this one. God willing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not this one. I'm sure this one will <laughs> Yeah, no, this this one, pl- please do not tune in. To, no. <laughs> do, not, do not watch. <laughs> that should be the title. I won't even advertise you. I'll just say, I, I have a guest. I have, <laughs> I a, have guest. a guest. So yeah. at least I'll get two seconds out of them. Yeah, the, the the name might throw people. But uh, so I love the Spotify. Yeah. The Spotify. The Spotify. Yes, and the Sirius XM. <laughs> I looked it up on the Google. On the Google, the yes. The Google machine. Yes. That's, that's, that's just an old person thing to say. It, it, it's such a, Are you on the drugs? Yeah. Are such, you on the cocaine? It's such a great time to, to be alive. Oh, but right. can you imagine if we had all this stuff when we were kids? No. We never would have got out of the house. It, it, nothing. No. We, we couldn't do anything because somebody would be filming it. Right. The boys club probably wouldn't have boys existed. Club. Some good times down there. Uh, Cheryl Valenti. Is on Facebook now, and she she I know yeah she's making well, the rounds. Have you been um, invited to the? In case you have, that's a no. Oh, okay. I haven't been invited to anything. I, I will no, neither confirm nor deny that there's a Stone and Boys and Girls Club alumni page. Is it really? Oh, there is. And what Donna does? She's going. You remember Donna? She just got an award too. She did. Yeah. yeah. For yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't know either. Uh, she did. She got I liked award. it. On the, I liked it. Yeah, I liked so much yeah she got an award for like um, changing people's lives or something like that, which I'm glad she got it, but arguably, Flinny should have got that too. I mean, seriously, that dude, he he helped me out a lot. You know what I mean? He was he, he was a good guy. He didn't really do a good job, so let's not, let's not praise this. That's why Donna got the award. Look, look. Well, just, I think, just, well, I don't know. I don't, maybe, I don't know. Totally cheap. Yeah, he was, he was a good guy. Um, still is a good guy. Um, Anyway, Donna is now posting like old pictures from like, you know, the seventies on up. Moving on up. And I'm thinking to myself, Self. There's not a single picture of me. <laughs> you're, kind of upset about you're this. You're camera shy. Yeah, I, I was. I, I stayed away from the camera. Little fat kids. We don't <laughs> we don't need to be we don't need actually I wasn't heavy back then. No. I don't think any of us were. Well No, we were running around all the time. Yeah, yeah. But uh That's when you stop running. I just think it's I think it's a great thing that it's still going strong. And now it's it's actually Wakefield is incorporated in it as well. I don't know why Wakefield didn't have their own, but yeah. I mean I, I would you know. Would you have traveled to another like so for instance, we're in Stoneham. Stoneham, yeah. the ham. And the then um. then there's a boys and girls club in Woburn too. Yes, that's which is awesome by the way. Well it is, but would you have traveled from where you live to go to Woburn? No, well, see, I have a, a little bit of a, not a story, but I have, I. Oh, let's hear I this. I went to school and I grew up in Woburn until third grade. Uh huh. Third, third grade. Did you hear that? The emphasis was on the. Yeah, the emphasis, yes. I, went, I, I heard that. I went there till third grade and I had friends that my, my mother knew and, and other people, like we knew the families and stuff. So I would go to the Woburn Boys Club with, basically, they just wanted us out of their hair for the day. Right. So they drop us off at the boys' club. It was awesome. They had a yeah. giant pool. They had everything. It was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's, at it's least a, as a kid, it seemed that way. It might be a dump, mm-hmm. for all I know. But well, I mean, yeah, it was a much better. But I wouldn't travel. Would have, but I wouldn't yeah. travel to Wolf. right. So I just don't understand why people from Wakefield are trucking themselves over. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I mean, I'm glad that they are. I yeah. mean, it, it's it's great for kids. I thought it was a great place. I mean, I know I spent a lot of time there. Yeah, met a lot of people there. I mean, you know, but again, we didn't come to. I don't even know want to say the name of the town anymore because I don't know what to say. With the hum? Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> didn't come to the hum until, um, I think it was 1979. From where? 
Malden. Oh, that's right. I knew that. Yeah, Malden. Yeah, it had that haunted house up on... Uh, I know by, that. Oh, yeah, it was haunted. Was it? Oh, it was haunted. We, well, we, when I say we, uh, my parents, they sold the house. <laughs> yeah. After they sold the house and we moved to Stoneham... Highland Ave, if you're scoring at home. Yes, yes, and the house is still there, um, as well as mom is still there, too. Um, so the people who bought it actually had people come in and exercise the house. Like worked it out, like they jump rope, they double yeah, they, they they dust. They, they bought Jane Fonda See? in. See? And she was big yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's that's my pop culture, Jane Fonda. I mean, what? Who? Barbarella is your pop yeah. culture. That's great. <laughs> yeah. People are going to listen to this. Like, why didn't he say Richard Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> so they brought Richard Simmons. I always in. think Jane Fonda when I think of, of exercising on a robot. I really do. I, me too. Those outfits. I mean, they they <laughs> yeah, left a, that's what it was. They left a mark on you when you were kids. Well, but yeah, they cute. had someone come in and actually exercise the house. Did it work? Well, I don't know. We, oh, you didn't afterwards. There's no follow up. No, there was. Know. They actually had my mother and father show up to the séance because they had all the owners of the home that was still alive had to come and sit around in this circle. My mother said it was the most ridiculous thing. What but, a racket! I mean, this is crazy stuff. But like, the clocks would fly off the wall. Like when when my mother lived there, she she watched it happen. The clock flew off the wall, really? Yeah, seriously, just like flew off the wall. It, didn't and just it was fall? plugged in. No, I mean it like six feet out, oh, and cool. yeah, and came unplugged. It's not like it just like fell off the yeah, nail yeah, that was right. holding it. It came undone, right? And you'd hear all these noises, like banging up in the attic and stuff like that. And you weren't allowed. You're allowed to have girls up there. Good for you. No. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> didn't know we were going there. Well, um, I was. I was six. That's, so that's yeah, the no, joke. yeah, that's yeah. No, the I joke. know, I know. Um, <laughs> So we thought that there was something there too, but yeah. we didn't, you know, make bones you, about it. You or did anything. what Eddie Murphy would do: get out. We basically did. We, you know, we we sold it and took off, and uh, and then yeah, they had that. That was the weirdest thing. My mother still laughs about it. Well, yeah, good. Yeah, when she can remember. <laughs> Not to be all Mark Wahlberg on it, but how's yeah. your mother doing? Oh, uh, she's she's actually doing well, thank you. Um, like I said, still living up on Highland Ave. Got a little doggy. Nice. Maggie, yeah. I um, think she wants to get rid of the house, but uh not sure. She want to go to Florida? She doesn't want to go to Florida. She wants to go to Maine. She's going the opposite direction. I, that's, what, that's what I'm telling her. I said, Mom, you know the winter's worse up there, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to the cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, she does better what, what in the cold anyway. What does she want? To, uh, what's her allure to Maine? Uh, actually, it's the cooler weather. It's, oh, easy, it's easier on her. Her lungs. So you know, it's bronchial, yeah. You know, much like, I don't know, I'm going to venture to say most of our parents mm -hmm. smoked. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it led to, you know, problems with lungs and stuff like that. So the cooler weather is a little better on her. More than, crisp. It's not as humid. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little easier. It's like she has a hard time in the summer. Well, I know a place in Antarctica if she's interested. She looked into that. Yeah. The glue was too small. Yeah, she needs two. She needs a two room igloo, igloo. with a bump out. <laughs> she needs a three three room yurt. <laughs> yurt, yeah, but That's the uh, best. So I don't know. Yeah, she's doing okay. She's still in town, which is why again I'm in town frequently because I will go in and make sure everything's okay. Like on my way home from work, check in, see what's going on. And it's not like she's feeble or anything. I just want to make sure. I mean, it's you know, it's your mother. Yeah, it's got to be tough. You know, live, you know, my dad passed. You know. It's going to be 10 years this August. Wow. And again, his was from smoking, throat cancer. You know, shit's, shit's no good. No. But, um. Despite the chew in your mouth right now. Was that what, supposed to say is, that? Is this thing on? That, hello? Oh, no, I don't care. Yeah. It's, it, it, we all have yeah. vices and habits. That's and, the worst thing you're doing. Uh, yeah. uh, it's not the worst thing you're doing. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is the worst thing I'm doing. But it, it's also something that makes me feel comfortable. So, you know, in order to. Come and sit down and and talk. I I needed to be as comfortable as possible. That was the goal. I said, bring bring a, a beverage in quotes, and, and uh, there and, it is. And, and I did. And what do you got? You got the Russian. I got a Russian Imperial Stout with me, and it was made by uh, the Russians. No, not the Russians. It was made by a brewery in uh, Nashua. Nashua, Russia, because that's false Nash advertising, Tom. It is false. It's just a type of stout. Take your sip. I'll I'll, I'll yeah. lead to the next one. Now, now, I, if anyone who's following Tom on Instagram knows. That Tom is likes two things, beer and more beer. Yeah. So what is your what do you look for in it? Because you don't just drink Budweiser, you don't drink the stuff that everybody knows. You no. you you get funk I don't know, funky's the right word, but you you see you you do consider yourself a beer connoisseur is what I guess I get. I, to. I, I don't and only because I'm 
sort of ostracized from the beer connoisseur community. Well, because I don't drink IPAs. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, you ate one too. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was listening to a little Howard Stern with Sammy Hagar earlier. That's why Rocker? I thought of that. Is yeah. it the Red Rock or the Red Rooster? Because Sharon always yells at me when I say something. And she's like, it's not that, it's this. I think it's Red Rocker. But I think, I, I, think I say Rocker. Red Rooster. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I say that, but I do. I, well, it sounds better. And it's funny. I get corrected every I'd time. rather be called the Red Rooster, I think, than the Red Rocker. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm going for. I it don't could, know. It could be. But at any rate, so Sammy. At any rate. Um, see, he's got a good show on Access TV, by the way. I'll check that out. The Sammy Higa. I will not check that out. You will not. I, I will not check that out. I'm telling you the other people. I'm telling you the other know, people that he I has. I can just yeah. mute you right now because you know you don't care about this. Yeah. I, well, let Rock me know. Rock and roll let, road trip. Let, let me know when my mic's back on. <laughs> You're on. I'm on. Um, so IPAs um, are really hoppy and it's called India Pale Ale. It should be from Australia if it's hoppy, no? It, Oh, oh, boy, gee. It it's not going to get any better. Tom. Know this. <laughs> yeah, I know. You knew this going in. That's why I said bring alcohol. Could the folks at home hear that groan? That that was real. <laughs> well, that was That's, them. Oh, you that, have to that, do that, it louder yeah. so they hear it. Yeah, that was a... Um, and I don't drink these IPAs, and that's what uh, that's what the craze is. Well, what is you know? what is the big deal? With the, I don't, you know, I don't drink. I, I, so I, I, I know, nothing to go I know. on. And, and See, Tom, I, I can't sympathize with you because I don't drink. I don't know what you're going through. Right, and, I and, don't drink. And and just so to be like clear, me. just to be clear, I'm not going through anything. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually happy these people don't like me. Um, you know, it's 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 uh, it's just really hops is the. I'm not, again. I'm not, I'm no expert. But these hops just kill the back of my throat. So you've tried them? I've tried them. I've right. tried. I, I mean, I've tried. I've tried to like them. I just can't do it. I want to like it. I, I do. I do want to. But I find the darker beers. So you know, for a long time, I didn't drink. I don't know if you know. You, you, I, I you, you remember? Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't drink until I was in my. I don't know. Maybe mid twenties. You were so. so. You were so less fun back then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. One would argue I'm no fun now, <laughs> um, but. So these, uh, the hops, just the back of my throat, they just, they hurt. I don't like it. It's like. Is it you're breathing? What, no, it's like, it it's like, like drinking glass to me. I've never drank glass either, Tom. Again, I can't sympathize. And again, I neither have I. That's just <laughs> what I liken it to. Seriously, um, it would, like it would really feel like you were cutting it, no, your. It just, no, it just feels, it's it's like a sharp. Wow. I, I don't know how to. I wouldn't drink I, it either, I, I don't know how to explain it, but the the dark beers that I like. So when I first started drinking beer, I, um. I really loved Guinness. Back in 1973. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I'd be so different now. Uh, deformed. <laughs> yeah. Awesomer. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the stouts have more of a bitter, and they're sort of like, a lot of them have like a, they use a malt that kind of tastes like chocolate. So it's, that, that's kind of why I like them. I've heard of chocolate malt beer. I've heard of uh, coffee malt beer. I've, I've, right. I've the, heard of right, them. Right, the just, co you know. coffee stouts and stuff like that. And, and that's just what I like. And um, the Russian Imperials are usually... Um, They're from Star Wars, right? They were at the cantina. I thought so. I they, knew it. They shot first. No one should shoot first. If no, no one shoots first, no, no, no one, one gets shot. First, See how right? that works, right. people? Right. Um, so the Russian Imperial stout was when the Russian dignitaries used to come over to England... They wanted to make their beer stronger for the, for the, for the Russians, for, for all the wee lasses coming over from Russia. I don't even know if that's a thing. Um, and so they made it a stronger beer. And the, basically the alcohol content is in this is just stronger. So if you drink like a, a Bud Light, you're basically drinking, you know, yellow water. I mean, it's like, I like yellow water. 3% alcohol in or whatever. You know, Russian Imperials can have up to like 9 to 12%. Alcohol. That's huge, right? It is. So, I mean, you have one of them and you're okay. You don't have to have six or seven of them. I mean, if not that you're looking to get buzzed. It's the Costco of beer. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You get more for your dollar. But you, I see you're, you're posting, and you're not, not that you're obnoxious about it. Yeah. You, you do post a lot of the beers and it's always something different. And do you have a... Like you have a, a, a bucket list, or uh, not to make it seem like it's, I actually, I actually do, do. Okay. and and much like I was telling you earlier about you know like when I go to a town that I've never been in before, yeah, I wasn't listening. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's do a recap. No, um, <laughs> I look for whenever I go somewhere that has a bunch of breweries, I look for ones that have the darker the porters and the stouts, which I like to drink, and uh, I try to hit. I'll make it a point to like I want to go up to a place in Vermont. I think it's called the Alchemist. It's a really famous um, brewery. I've heard, I've heard of it. Heard, yeah. And like 
you have to wait in line for hours to buy, and you can only buy like one case of their beer at a time. Then they turn you away, I guess. But um, so you won't do that at the town spa, but but for I beer, will, uh, but, uh, yes. So <laughs> priorities. Am I a drunk? Is that the question? No. What, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> I I just I just enjoy it, and and when I come home from work, I like to have one and relax. You know, so I never understood why people would come home, crack a beer, and sit down until I actually started doing it. It just it, it's not to get loaded or anything like that. It just it's just a nice way to. If it relaxes the, you, that's great. That's it. You know, throw on TV, have a beer, then then do what you got to do before you go to bed and wake up and do it all again the next day. <laughs> Repeat. Yeah, I mean, I don't, don't do it every day, but, you know, it's 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 just a lot of fun. Um, yeah, connoisseur I would not consider myself, but I like a finer beer than... So you're a snob? Y- yes. <laughs> a beer snob. No, that's... A- I'm actually snobby about a lot of things. Well, well like, you wouldn't... No, I've never... You, you, well, we've been out before and you drank it, and I think you slummed it with the... Beer in masses, but that's not your choice. That's just because no, actually, no, whenever we, wrong? you might be misremembering. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I think when whenever we've gone out, I was probably having a Tom Collins oh, or a mattress. So you weren't having beer. I wasn't having, having beer. I was having a. So I did a, misremember. Yeah, I because I I if if I go to a place like like Buffalo Wild Wings or something, <laughs> a Kate. You know, if we're watching a fight, when we went and watched that fight. With Larry Burns, who's also on Spotify right now from last week's episode. Hello, Larry. I am not Billy. Hello, Larry. Did you did you see that? I named it Hello, Larry Burns because there's a TV show in like 1976. It was off. I watched it. It was uh, Hello, Larry with McLean Stevenson. Well, I actually did see you called it Hello, Larry. Oh, did that, yeah. did yeah. you get the joke? I got the joke. That's yes. Awesome. yes. I, was, I didn't think anybody would. Yeah, well, I'm one of the odd ones out That's there. That's great. I appreciate but, that. So what I did is... If they have on tap, they have all the, they're going to have IPAs because that's what the, the, the kids want. Like, you know, the, all these wacky the, kids, the hipsters and all that stuff. They want their, hopsters. the ho- <laughs> we can call them hopsters. They want their IPAs and stuff. And occasionally they'll have Guinness on tap. Right. And I'm just they all, each have read a book. I'm who Guinness. I think he did. Ugh, I, don't know. I might be in it. There's too, no way to know being the biggest snob. <laughs> no. Um, occasionally I'll have, but I'm just so Guinness out. You know, I've just had a lot. I mean, I went to Ireland and I went and had one, you know, at the top of the, the tour. And stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, but I won't get it when I'm out because I know there's there's just better things out there. And if they don't have better than Guinness, I just, I'll just i just drink, like I said, a Tom Collins sure. or a Madras. So you're, you'll do anything to avoid Guinness now? The irony. Pretty much. <laughs> so at work, we have these happy hours. Will they'll will they'll take everybody from that, one to five? No, yeah, no, not even. They just at like three o'clock once a month. They have everybody meet in the cafe and they bring out, you know, a bunch of beer and stuff like that's that, cool. right? Yeah, and they'll have you go, Guinness. That's there. too weak for me, sir. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, I want to get bombed. Do you have anything stronger? <laughs> uh, no, but they'll have a Guinness, and I'll have one there yeah. because it's there. It's available. I'm gonna have some beers with my coworkers. That's yeah, fine. It's a group I can't, thing. It's yeah, I can't bonding. bring a, I can't bring a mixed drink in on that day, and you know break out the flask I'll bring and, the olives. yeah so th- so i will have one then but other than that i i i don't avoid it but it's not my first choice okay you bottle a glass do you prefer the glass oh because well, you brought a can i think I, you brought a can i did i brought a okay. can so 16 ounce can uh that was actually made on 626 so it's relatively new um Whoa. yeah so they, they always write like when it was um that's when it was canned cool. and stuff like that, yeah. When so. it was canned, that's great. Love it in the can. <laughs> in the butt, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> why did I? Yeah, why? You, yeah, why? You had um, to. You had I know, I know. But uh, so, yeah. You know who else? Do you remember um, Bobby Merger? No. By any chance? There was another guy that went to, but he loves the stouts, too. He loves so, the stouts. Yeah, so every once in a while, we'll get together and we'll, you know, go somewhere and have a couple of... Well, that's cool, though. Yeah, it is. It's fun. Um, I, I rarely do it to get hammered, you know? It's just have a bunch of them and then just take off. <laughs> that's it. Do what you're drinking, then go driving. Uber at home. Challenger. Matter of fact, uh, there's, a, there's a brewery I really, really like in Nashua called White Birch. And um, they make a hell of a stout. It's called uh, Indulgence. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's... it's when it's, uh, when it's get the name of a perfume, you know it's good. <laughs> is that a perfume? Could be. It could be. There's no way of knowing. Do you wear indulgence, George? I have been prone to wearing indulgence. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Too early right now, but you know. Yeah, no. Yeah, too <laughs> too early for this. 
Especially not if I'm coming. Maybe <laughs> if maybe maybe if Lori was coming. Who Lori Your Mayo? first your first podcast? Yes, huh? no, she was she was second. But yes, Lori Mayo from Rhode Island. She's my Oh, con- is she from she's, Rhode she's Island? my concert wife. Oh, that's right. Dave Matthews, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're still yeah. <laughs> I'm still wearing it. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Say it. No, I'm no. I just never got into Dave Matthews uh because I likened him to like those um those bands that can play a song for like ten oh, minutes. The jam band. A jam. That's see, okay. Jam they're, band. See, they're, yeah. They're qua- they qualify as a jam band. They don't. No, they do. But, oh, they do. But but they don't always. They, there's, they I think they have two songs that were instrumentals, but they will add words to them in concerts. So there's always words. They don't just do like fishes and go, "Hey everybody, welcome to the show," and then the forty hour jam. It's not like that. It's, yeah, it's, I would. I would shoot myself. <laughs> I'm fairly certain after the twentieth minute of. Of they, hearing nothing, but yeah, they you know. have done. They do, but see, that's what I like about them is that they take the. It's never the same show twice. Like they'll do. Ants, I've seen Ants Marching. I'm going to say 45 times live. What is that? It, it's that song. Is that it goes? That's exactly right. It's, okay, yeah. Bingo. I don't that's, know the see, words, this but is, that was is, that. That's you are doing me with Marcy right now. <laughs> but, but you, you nailed can, it. I you, couldn't but do you it. You can't even do oh, his mind. I'm so sad. Okay, all right, very good. <laughs> Loser music. Yeah, I got. It. Right, I'm just yeah. teasing. No, I know, but but, I know. but he does a different version every time. Okay, and some will be longer than others. Uh, well, and um, no, that was, it's, that it's really cool. Like, I always say to people who say I hate Dave Matthews, which is fine. But but have you heard them live? It's like Springsteen. Springsteen is known for putting on kick-ass concerts. I was never a Springsteen fan per se. I like some of his music, but I didn't really care. But I saw him live. And now I will go every chance I can to see him. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I I have never seen Springsteen live, and I I have to admit the only album. Do we say album anymore? We say it. It it is okay, but we say it. The only album I ever had of Springsteen's was Born in the USA. Like every, of course, everyone else in nineteen eighty something. Yeah, exactly. It's the only one I ever had. I I listened to it, and um, and then I just kind of forgot about it. Yeah. Like I actually remember the psychedelic furs. I do. Yeah. I've seen Pretty in pink, right? Yeah, but I've seen them like seven times. They play like the Hampton Casino Ballroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Sure, it's sure. I saw Gary Newman a couple of years ago. Were you in your car? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's so... I understand I, music I respect is, it. I, I respect it. I get it. Now. I respect it. Now I get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. So funny. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh. No. And we left. <laughs> that should be a song. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Um... I understand that bands sound different live, and, and I can appreciate it. But I, I personally, I can't go and sit through like a fish or a, or even the Grateful Dead. My God, yeah. like seriously, you know. But me being ignorant to what I only heard Dave Matthews on the radio, yeah. and I liked it on the radio, but I heard that when he was live, his songs went seven or eight minutes, and I was like, can't do it. Seven or eight, that's a slow one. That's a is, short one. Is it? Okay, yeah, see. But no, in all seriousness, no, but there's a few songs like Crash Into Me, that's, the, you know, that one, of course. Crash. Is that about the car accident? No, that's no. so damn lucky. Oh. How do, you, how do you know that one? Like I said, <laughs> I know, <clears throat> I'm pretty good with music. That but is I just, pretty good. But I just, um... They they do, they just they extend it a little bit. They get, okay. It, it, it's, it's, it, I, I don't feel they go too long. Like once... I think the longest one they've done that I know of anyways, mm-hmm. they did a, a half hour version of number 41, but they had guests. See, when they have guests, they want the guests to shine. I know. I know you're sitting there. So but, but at, people, what, at what minute, Mark, does the guest shine? <laughs> 23 to 27. Then they yeah. close it out. No, but, but it, it's, it, t- to me, that gets a little bit. That's why I'm with you. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, let's, let's wrap it up. I, I, and it's funny. Yeah. I, I like it. I do. I do. Well, I was going to do the Vanessa Hudgens thing, but I, I do like it, but I can't listen to it all the time because, one, I know it's a half hour long. When you're at the show, you love it. Right. Because you're there, you're into it, and you're like, this is fantastic. But if I'm sitting there listening to it, you know, my, my attention span is, is not, it's not the best. The first time I, I heard it, I listened to it from beginning to end. And then now I'm like, all right, let me get to this part. Let me get to this guy. Let me get to this guy. Right, right. But, but being there live, it's so, it, it's just, it's so different. Well, I guess, see, I actually have a, a different view on live. I like being. Hey, is that a train? It I'm is a, the I'm train. I'm asking you. I'm, I've been, I've it, it is a train. Yeah. Here we come. Here we go. 
Oh, that's magical. It's li- literally, if you could see through my bedroom window right there. Um, <laughs> Where in your bedroom? <laughs> yeah, my bed's in the background. Right I'm there. suddenly frightened. Yeah, <laughs> it's working. Uh, yeah, it's 10 feet away from the from the garage. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gone now. It doesn't last Trains, long. that's what they do. Yeah, I have a different... Um, that's the purple line. It, it is, is it really? Yeah, I, the commuter line. When I have to go into commuter Boston, rail? yep, I go to Boston, I, I'll get on there. It's it's Abington's stop, it's yeah. like I can throw a rock at it. From which I understand is free right now while this COVID stuff's going on, so get in while the getting's good. The getting's good. Bring your mask, though. There's nowhere to go, though. It's the only yeah. problem. Oh, I know. Yeah, nothing's <laughs> You can open. get in. There's nothing to do, but <laughs> you can go in. There is, there is no, well, you can tear down a statue. That's what I'm going to do, I think. Yeah, you can, yeah go, go into the park and just tear any one of them down. The, the duckling's gone. The, yeah, Red yeah. Arbrack's next. Yeah, we'll take the duckling. And the frog, get uh, him out of here. Frog. Um, when I go to a concert live, I enjoy it, but I actually... Uh, uh, all right, let's... I don't like crowds of people. I don't like being bumped, touched, pushed, spit on. Just drinks. What else? Drinks poured on me. <laughs> pantsed. Flat tires. I hate all that stuff, right? It's all garbage. Yeah, it's, it's all garbage. But when I go to a show and... It never fails. I'm, you know, five foot one. Somebody that's six eight will stand in front of me, and I can't see a damn you, thing. You and Debbie Longo. Well, oh yeah, actually, yeah. Deb- she posts that all the time. Can we name her name? No, that, yeah. that's her fake. No, that's not her real name. I, I, I protect. I, I changed you, it. To you change it to protect the innocent. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, I, I just find sometimes that's a real problem, and then especially like I see all these you know, pictures of these jam band things and everybody's kind of like just up and moving around and j- I would probably have a heart attack. Uh, so I, I kind of like going to a show and staying in a seat. And then, you know, if you need to get up, get up, but don't stand up for the whole damn thing. Yeah. I'm such a. You're going to be a big hit the nurse at home. <laughs> Out in front. <laughs> That's my pudding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, I, I, no, that's it, what you enjoy, though. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Like, yeah, as a matter of fact, when um, I told you earlier, uh, the last concert I went to, I saw Lady Tron with Claire. And he was a kid. He had to be 18. Like, young kid, right? Just out of nowhere. Just pushed up through a bunch of us, bumped me, and then stood in front of me. <laughs> Not only am I going to bump you, yeah. I'm going to park and, and right And then in he front stood in front of me. And Claire said, Tom. <laughs> because be a wheel ass. Well, no, I put, my, I put my hand on his shoulder. Oh, yeah, and I said, "Smooth." I said, "Excuse me," and Claire was already telling me, "It's not worth it. Don't do it." And he turned around. And he goes, "What?" I said, "Enjoy the show." Yeah. You, know, you know what I do? What? I blow, you pants him, I blow on his neck, <laughs> no and then they turn don't. around, and you you don't, you don't act as if you know what the hell he's turning around for. Like, yeah, I, I've done that. They always, Have you really? Always leave, and they always move? always leave. Oh, see, because they don't know what to do. Because they look at me, and I'm like, look at the show. I'm like, oh. I didn't. E- I didn't even think of doing anything. Yep, like that. it that's, works like a that's ch- good. It's a true story. A blow in the guy's neck. He he doesn't know what to do. Next time I go see Culture Club, I'm going <laughs> to do that. <laughs> or whoever I go. There's only see. three people going to be in the building. You should be good. <laughs> so maybe maybe all right. That's why you like these bands. No one goes to see them. That's exactly. It, it was just me and Gary Newman. It was fantastic. <laughs> no, play cars. I'm gonna settle down, Tom. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Tom again. Yeah, that's that's great. Table for one, please. <laughs> Down in front. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. That's great. You yeah. gotta laugh at yourself. You do. I, you do. You have to. I can't laugh at you if I can't laugh at me. So. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. What do you want to get some lunch? Yeah. Is let's there anything else you want to talk about? This is your uh, show. You know. Um, Did we touch on anything? You forget anything you wanted to touch on? If you had anything in mind, I didn't give you instructions. No, I know. No, there were no um. There were no cues. There were no cues. There were no cue cards. No, there was there, nothing. There never will be. No, I think. No, I think this is a, yeah? probably a good place to stop. What yeah. do you think? Is it, did you have a good time? I had a great time. Thank you very much. This was fantastic, and I wish you continued success with this. I, I hope it blows up and does everything that you want it to do. Oh, I appreciate really. that. Yeah. Thank you. I liked it. I liked listening to them. They were a lot of fun. Um, I know no one will listen to this one. Well, so. I'll see one download. It'll be you. That's <laughs> I think you subscribe. I'm going right? down- so to download it 50 <laughs> times. Just to- <laughs> anyway. Repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> Well, well, thanks for having me, George. Thank I you, Sean. It. Go back to the golf course and work on your putts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Goodbye.